force yourself to build a strong mindset. That's what I'm here to talk about today. We all want success in life, but it requires cultivating the right mental toughness and resilience. It's not as simple as just wanting it. You have to put in the work to transform your mindset. The human mind is incredibly powerful, yet most of us let it run on autopilot for much of our lives. We observe disempowering beliefs and thought patterns from those around us without questioning them. Before we know it, you're living a life of self-imposed limitation without even realizing the change around us. But I'm here to snap you out of that trace, to shake you awake to the incredible and top potential simmering inside you at this very moment. You have the power to rewrite your mindset script from the ground up. It won't be easy, but nothing worthwhile ever is. The path to an empowered mind starts with taking full responsibility for your life. As long as you're blaming others, circumstances, your upbringing, anything outside of yourself, you will stay stuck. The mindset you need can only be built from the inside you out. You have to look at yourself squarely in the mirror and admit that while you didn't choose the condition you were born into. You alone shape how you respond to them from this day forward. It is an uncomfortable truth, but a liberating one once you fully embrace it. From that solid foundation of personal responsibility, you can start dismantling the disempowering beliefs and thought loops that have held you back. The negative self-thought, the fear, the doubts, the excuses, those old tapes have to go. It'll take discipline, consistency, and commitment. Reprogramming Programming your mindset is much harder than programming it was in the first place. But you cannot let discomfort stop you. Lean into it. That's where the growth is happening. Every time you catch yourself slipping into an old negative thought pattern, forcefully crab it out, flood your mind with formation of what you want to be true instead. Tell yourself, I'm capable, I can do this. Obstacles or opportunities, say it loud if you have to. Over time, the repetition builds in the neural pathways your mind to start changing at the deepest levels what once felt like you were faking it until you make it become just how you operate by default of course thought alone aren't even enough you have to translate the new mindset into consistent action start building new habits and routines that reinforce the beliefs you want to internalize sign up for that class apply for the job you've been putting off speak up next time you would usually stay silent action breeds more action at first it be taxing to override the inertia of who you were. Change always involves friction, but don't avoid the things that stretch your comfort zone. That's where the real growth happens. Embrace the inevitable discomfort as a part of the transformative process. You're literally reviving the secretary of your life, mind, and building the muscle of the process. Of course, it's gonna feel hard at first, but as you keep pushing, it gets easier and easier. One day, you look back and realize just how much you've involved. There is no financial destination in developing a powerful mindset because the journey itself is what matters most. Every day holds new opportunities to strengthen that mental muscle, to solidify faith in yourself, to vanquish limiting fears and thoughts, to step more into your potential, be proactive, don't wait until adversity strikes to start building a new mental resilience. Do the hard work now to develop the mindset that can roll with any punch that life throws. Challenges are inevitable, but with the right preparation, you can rise above them. It's like my friend John used to say about bodybuilding. If you only train the major muscle groups, you will have a glaring weaknesses. But if you train everything with no weak links, you become a powerhouse. And mindset works the same way. You cannot pick and choose which areas to work on. A strong mindset requires total commitment. The greatest opportunity for personal growth often comes bundled inside the biggest threats. A crisis can either be a breaking point or breakthrough turning point, but mindset determines which path you take. With a strong empowered outlook that adversity becomes an awakening. Developing mental strength doesn't mean never feeling fear and thought or discomfort. Those are natural human responses. It means feeling those things. Yet making a conscious choice to act according to what you want rather than to what you're afraid of. At the end of every day, 
that's what separates those who only dream about doing big things from those who actually do them. The dreamers let their mindset weather away under the weight of other narratives, fears and stories, but the doers nurture a mindset so powerful and resilient that impedes their progress. If your ambition is to live an extraordinary in your life, there is no way around the work of fortifying your mindset. You cannot put a garden space shovel to the possibilities ahead with the mind of a kid, pulling you back toward the familiar and comfortable. This, is, this isn't something to be worked on for a few weeks. Then move on. It's lifelike commitment to continually expanding your mental age, to leveling yourself up from the inside out, day by day, year by year. Personal growth is the only sustainable competitive advantage so let today be the turning point decide right here and now that you're taking full ownership of your minds moving forward come what may promise yourself I will do the hard work I will push through discomfort I will become more than a being don't wait for the perfect circumstances motivation or Ray Ray pep talk to get started as I always say you don't have to be great to get started but you have to get started to be great start right now start where you are start solidifying the mindset that will let you to go and finally toward the biggest ambitions at the end of your life no one gets to judge you but whether you made the most of your potential you're the one who has to live with your regrets or sense of fulfillment do the hard work now to build an unstoppable mindset that lets you live with no regrets each day wake up and pour effort into extending your mental limits a little more starve the doubts excuses and fears feed the ambition the self-belief and perseverance. No one can do that inner work for you as much as you would like them to. In that spirit, you will leave you with a final thought. Why not me? Why cannot you be among those rare few who cultivate the mental toughness to not just dream of greatness, but mindset is against all odds. The path isn't easy, but human history is studied with examples of extraordinary individuals achieving extraordinary impact through sheer mindset alone. Developing that unstoppable inner strength is how you join the ranks. The choice to do so is yours. The potential is there, waiting to be unlocked. No one can give you that gift but yourself. So, go and work, get to work, and force yourself to build a strong mindset that will shape the rest of your life's possibilities. The choice to develop an unstoppable mind is yours. But I know how easy it is to let that choice slip away a mindset, the hustle and demands of your daily life. Our modern world is full of distraction and fleeting gratification that only slowly erode your commitment over time. That's why you have to be vigilant in protecting the precious mental process you made. Gardening your mindset has to become the top priority each day and every day, otherwise all your harder and inner threats can start chipping away without even you realizing it. Negative people, toxic influencers, consumption of junk media and entertainment, that's all like termites boring into the foundation you've built. One moment of letting you guard down and those termites can undo years of work on your mindset. Don't let that happen. Once you've empowered yourself through the difficulty of reprogramming your mental operating system and your new obligation is to preserve and nurture that hard-worn growth at all costs. Be fearlessly discriminating about what and who you let into your conscious mind. Audit your input surrounding with utmost scrutiny. Does this person can this experience, this content, truly serve their high hopes and ambitions? Or it might subtly reintroduce this empowering thought and beliefs. You have to become a ruthless editor of your mindset and environment. View every influence thought that filter if it doesn't meet the highest standards of aligning with your vision. Cut it out without hesitation. A room for comprises. Your mindset is integrity has to be your most cherished assets. This uncompromising approach extends the words and stories you tell yourself to. The little private conversation we have with ourselves each day matter immensely. Those internal narratives can either popple you forward or sabotage your every effort. Become a vigilant gatekeeper of your self-talk. Whenever you catch yourself slipping into doubt for disempowering monologues, hit the brakes hard, interrupt the toxic pattern immediately and redirect your mind with a laser for 
keeps you focused. Replace those limiting taps with affirmation of your deepest abilities. It is an endless process of vigilance, catching those negative narratives over and over again and rescripting them. Left unchecked, they will barrow back into the graves of the psyche to undo their mindset progress from the inside out. Give them an inch and they will take a mile. Trust me on that. This internal vigilance is the price you must pay to keep your mind is uncomprisingly strung over the long haul. It takes tremendous self-discipline, but there is no other way. Half measure simply won't cut it. You're the keeper of your mindset's integrity. Treat that role with intense sobriety and commitment to deserve 24 hour, 7 hour. Because the path of the least resistance is always a gradual slippage back toward disempowering. Your role is to push forward unflaggingly and fortifying that inner locus of control. As you wave that inner battle, nurture the habit of constantly taking stock of your mindset trajectory, self-reflection and radical honesty with yourself become core skills. You have to be always auditing whether your thoughts, habits and choices truly align with your habits, aspirations. If you see recruiting patterns and influences pulling you off course, be ruthless in the course correcting to make excuses or rationalize mass alignments away bypass your mind's ability to come up with undisciplined logic for compromise stuck to your standard without wavering you're the architect of mental feats you give your brain to be fearlessly intentional about every piece of that mental construction process don't be limiting beliefs and habits slide back in through the cracks until suddenly your whole mindset is eroding this is a near never ending a process of refinement just and as an art masterpiece is sculpted through the thousands of careful chisel strikes over time so too must you endlessly chip away your mindset keep reshaping and baffling that rough mental play until its manifestation manifestates your gradual visions of course this inner work is often unglamorous and invisible to the external world that's why it's so easy to let the commitment lapse no one sees the daily inner battle you fight to stay on track there are no cheering crowds or external accountability but the result of either persisting or fluttering at the inner work will be glaringly evident over time look around for your life the fruits of either a allegedly honed mindset or an undisciplined one are inscarable the result of consistently threatening our neglecting your mindset become pain to see over time often the evidence smacks you in the face during the most turbulent storm of life. When you hate those extreme challenges and adversities, the depths of your mental strength gets laid bare. We all go through periods of intense difficulty, disappointment, and feeling of being beaten down or stalled out. Maybe it's a job loss, a broken relationship, a financial crisis, or a catastrophic setback that derails your plan. In those moments, the tempt and temptation to wolf in self-pity disappear and disempowering gets almost overwhelming. But this is precisely when the work you've done to cultivate mental toughness pays off in spades. Those with strong resilience mindset handle these make or break decisions in an entirely different way. C. The weak minded instantly plunge into a victim narrative during tough times. Why me? It's not fair. It always happens. Their locus of control is inherently external, living and baffled by circumstances outside their influence. They descend into cynicism, excuses, and stay stuck in the mire. But for those who have truly done the inner work, personal crises are catalysts for even greater growth and tenacity. Their mindset stubbornly refuses to make them a victim of the situation. While they may feel disappointment, or frustration, the locus of control remains firmly internal. This allows them to pivot quickly, taking stock of a new circumstances and adjusting their approach. Rather than getting swallowed by the circumstances and storm, they search for creative openings or negative around, over, or through it. Their mental discipline helps them isolate emotion from actions. I'll always think solution oriented, regardless of feeling when you see someone's hand immense adversity with grace flowing forward calmly yet dynamically that's the power of an unshake mindset at work while those around them get derailed and thrown off of the course the strong-minded find renewed 
good motivation, greatness, and resourcefulness in the heat of the challenge. These experiences like this harden your mental armor. They show you correctly how your commitment to developing this unstoppable mindset pay dividends in life's biggest make or break scenarios. You survive on slots that break others, coming out more empowered and hungry on the other side. Over time, the track record of small and large victory compounds into an unshakable sense of self-belief and personal capacity. You start approaching new obstacles and a uphill battle with legitimate excitement instead of trepidation because you've proven you can handle anything thrown your way and emerge stronger. This bone deep confidence acts as a tailwind for your ambition and drive. You're no longer held back by the fears that or limiting beliefs and shackling most people. You, your powerful mindset confers the courage to act bloodly on the biggest dream without hesitation. When the success has started, accumulation and accumulating from dreams without hesitation, a positive spiral fleeting on itself. Bigger accomplishments lead to even greater self-belief, which breeds even more ambitious action and results. This upward trajectory becomes a self-perpetuating cycle, propelling you to scale new heights. Now, I don't want to point. Can you rose a picture here? Developing a genuinely and dominant mindset remains one of the biggest challenges you can undertake. It takes not just intense effort, but a near obsessive degree of vigilance over the long haul. In truth, this is a lifelong commitment without any final destination or finish line to cross. There is no end point where you suddenly have an unbreakable mindset. It is constant process of nurturing and threatening the mental edge each and every day, month after month, year after year. Even the strongest minded among us hate low ips or many funks now and then. You cannot avoid them entirely. What matters is refusing to let those temporary downside swings blossoms into replace of bad habits or limiting patterns. Get back on track swiftly without beating yourself up over temporary lapse. Because losing that internal vigilance over your inner world is what tends to undo even the hardest mental work over time. We've all witnessed or personally experienced the slow determination and deterioration of hard-earned breakthroughs that gets triggered by complacency. The human mind is incredibly persistent and resourceful at recreating the disempowering beliefs and pattern the moment you take over foot off the gas pedal. So you simply can't let up as exhausting as that eternal pressure may feel. I'm reminded of a quote from the Asian Static Philosophy Senate. You must preserve and fortify your courage in every possible way. It is safeguarding for you against the disgrace or fright or object. See the strength of your mindset. It doesn't just determine the boldness and impact of your life work just as cruel cruelty. It shapes whether your twilight years are spent with dealingly and fortified regret and bitterness over potential you let slip away. So many people hit retirement to their old age only to realize they've lost the edge and hunger that once drove them adrift in nostalgia and hunted by the specter of unwilled ambition. Their waiting years become an exercise in coping through resignation. Some fight ferociously to rethink the fire in life's final chapter and cling to sense of purpose. But at that point, the limiting narrative and grinding patterns have hundred into almost impenetrable imp layers of mental scary tissue. It's too late to rehabilitate the mindset needed to really thrive. Don't let the fate befall you. Build the mental armor and discipline now so you enter the larger steps stages with that useful spark still burning bright with the wisdom of yours weighted to an unstoppable mindset you become a force of nature leaving an undeniable final mark on this world because for all the motivation pep talks about going for it the brutal reality is that developing a truly empowered mindset is one of the most arduous and relentless tasks any human can take on the internal resistance will need to overcome Dorf's most external obstacle in its immensity. 
That's precisely why so few ever embark on this journey of mental re-energing, constantly making excuses to postpone it, and why even fever sustain the internal intensity required to see it through its final realization. But those rare souls who do go the distance, who defy the gravitational pull or fear, dot or internal or hanger away relentlessly at their self-imposed limitations, they enter the rarefied era of greats who've bent the arc of history through sheer force of unbreakable determination and with vision. Looking back from my current vantage point, I can attest that going all in this mindset work from such an early age was quite simply the most important decision and commitment of my lifetime. No amount of external tactics or strategies could substitute for grinding my inner locus of control. There were switches when the slack felt unbearable, when complacency seemed like the rational choice, when crisis, writing naysayers try to convince me to stop wasting so much energy on this historic inner work but something inside me knew it was the man unlocked behind everything I wanted to create that knowing hunger for impact kept me fixed on the honing my mental process with near monomania sure I had stables with strangations like anyone but I refused to completely fall off the path and think I did because the successes and fulfilling experiences that mindset has enabled for me vastly outweigh the struggles it took along the journey. It crystallized my resolve in so many white knuckle moments when quitting seemed like the easier path. These days I operate from a place of calm authority and grounded confidence that I know damn well I wouldn't possess if I hadn't gone all in one regaining. My mental armor is essentially unbreakable at this point. I quite literally have no limitation left to slow me down. The biggest obstacles in crisis just don't face me the way they do most people. My mindset has been conditioned like raw lump of coal compressed into the impenetrable the minds over once. I exude an unwavering mo mental toughness and Binocacy that resonate deeply with others. This hundred mindset has become me personal force field against the external threats, doubts, limiting circumstances. I walk through this world like by silent juggernaut, steadily flicking away any attempted impediments that gets flung my way. And that's really the crux of why this mental work has been so invaluable. It has freed me to act bloodly and decisively on my biggest ambition without getting bogged down by fear, hesitation, or paralysis from others' skepticism or criticism. Those external mind viruses simply can get foothold in my psyche at the point. After decades of systematically fortifying my inner game and injecting this empowering mental patterns, I operate from basis of unshakable self-belief and calm determination. Major setbacks and hurdles that would derail most of people for months or years barely slow my stride these days. I simply adjust, reassess and rebound at a wholly different energetic rhythm. It's honestly difficult for me to relate to those who remain constrained by mental fragility and lack of emotional mastery over themselves. Their hair pain, internal pendulum swings of, of motivation and dependency seem so unbalanced and unnecessary from my vantage point. But I can't judge them too harshly, as I was once stuck in similar mental modeling before I embarked on this path. This will power to firstfully re-engineer your mind is simply not to switch. You can easily flip your most. It requires dismantling deep-rooted patterns and narratives that often stretch back to your earliest childhood programming and environment influences. We all know just how stubbornly entrenched and persistent those natural groups can be. I have immense empathy for how grueling and tedious the work of retaining your mindset can feel, especially in the beginning trenches. It's thankless and visible labor lacking any immediate gratification or external reinforcement. You're simply trudging against the steady internal resistance of your worth of mental inertia and 
rain down patterns rearing that hit. Be just like building physical stamina through grueling conditions. The same principle applies to developing natural stamina. Those initial 10 rudimentary push-ups leave you heaving range and sweets, yet with consistency over time you eventually crank up 50 rips while barely bearing breaking a sweat. The body's capabilities expand massively through that no pain, no gain process, so the mindset training flows the same art. Those shaky first rips of interrupting negative self-talk and fear narratives for draining beyond belief, but stick with the program and eventually those affirmations and constructive thought flow like breathing. Neural mass culture has been forged where there was once mental atrophy. The process isn't necessarily painful in the physical sense, but make no mistake, it provokes deep emotional fraction and internal resistance, and you slowly chip away at the deeply groomed patterns comprising your former identity. There is a reason so few people have the stamina and for food to sustain re-engineering their mindset over long haul, but there's hardly few who do endure that knowing discomfort, embracing it as a part of transformative process, they eventually break through to a new place of personal power and unbreakable resolve that 99 people simply can't fathom or success.